I'm Camille. I live in Auckland, New Zealand. I play the oboe, and when I teach, I learn. So it's been really incredible to be part of this Teach to Learn program. Um, but I actually had no idea how much being a part of their program would positively impact my life. And it really has. Um, it's, I always look forward to teaching Shaikh. I always look forward to that moment in the week when I get to connect with someone in a completely different culture, in a completely different part of the world. Hi, my name is Shaikh. I'm from Kabul, Afghanistan. I play oboe. Uh, when I teach, I learn. When I joined to Teach to Learn program, I learned lots of things like how can I play softly, nicely, and on tune. She taught me many finger and exercise, and uh, the most important benefit that I earned from her, uh, like how can I teach my little students. And so he was able to perform over Skype for our students and they were able to perform for him and they were able to ask some questions and have a little bit of a back and forth um, and it was really amazing to have that moment where we were sort of expanding our Ubu community and making it more of a global community. The impact of the program for my music is that uh, they brought up their own ability, the only global player in Afghanistan uh, by supporting me, they can make my life, and this time, uh, this time by playing music, we wanna change the Afghan people idea, and also we wanna bring peace into our society. And lastly, the thing that I really wanted to say is just how, you know, when I started with Teach to Learn, I felt like it was all about um, you know, hel helping Shaikh with his oboe skills and really being an oboe teacher. But as the months have gone on and the more we connect, it really strikes me that it's actually more of a personal connection. Um, and it's been so meaningful to me to get a little glimpse into life in Afghanistan, something I never really knew much about before. Um, and we've talked about everything from food to traditional Afghani music to the struggles that have been going on in Kabul recently and what day-to-day -day life is like, especially as a musician, um, which it's extremely brave to be a musician in Afghanistan right now. Um, so it's just been such a privilege for me to be part of this program and I'm really grateful for it.